friends, let's look at our calendar. So yesterday was the 23rd, so today will be the 24th. Look at our pattern, I see A, B, looks like we need another red one to finish our pattern today. Yeah. All right, let's follow this up. So here we go, all the way up, it starts with an F. Let's say our days of the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I hope you said Friday. Today is Friday the 24th. Let's do our calendar our journal. So today is Friday. And then the 24th, let's write our date. Today is Friday the 24th. Good. Let's write it the other way. So we have a 4, April is the 4th month. Our date is the 24, and our year is 2020. Let's read our chat. Let's read our date together. Today is Friday, April 24th, 2020. Good. So our year is 2020. Go outside and see what the weather is. Sunny, cloudy, rainy, windy, or snowy. And our season is the spring. Okay, let's turn it over and do our tallies. So yesterday was the 23rd day. 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23. We're going to add one more to make 24. <clears throat> Let's look at coins. Here we go. We've been working with that one that is 10 cents to get us to our 20s. Remember, 10, 20. Now we need to get to 24. 21, 22, 23, 24. So there's 24 in coins. 24 days. Okay. Let's count by tens today. You ready to help me? Here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Let's do our coin power. Penny, penny, easily spent. Copper, brown, and worth one cent. Nickel, nickel, thick and fat. You're worth five cents, I know that. Dime, dime, little and thin. I remember you're worth ten. Quarter, quarter, big and bold. You're worth twenty-five, I've been told. Good. Now today, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to teach you, since it's Friday, and Friday should be fun, I'm going to teach you a game you can play with just some common items at your house. You can play this game. So let's look at it. So what you can use at your house is see if you have a deck of cards, just simple cards. Um, you're probably going to want to take the jokers out and you're going to want to shuffle them up a little bit. So you're going to want to shuffle your cards, take the jokers out, and then find a partner to play with. Maybe it's a brother or sister, mom or dad or grown up. So you're gonna play this game. So here's what you're gonna do, you and your partner. I'm gonna play right hand against left. So I'm gonna make two stacks, one, and I'm just gonna keep going until all the cards are equally into two stacks. Okay, so now, all my cards are in two stacks. And so here's what we're going to do. We're going to be comparing numbers to play this game. And you're going to be um, seeing which number is greater. That means more. So watch. So this is one partner and this is the other. And you'll both take your top card and flip it over. And then you have to compare them. So which one is greater? Four or six? So the person with the greater card gets to keep both cards. Those go into my pile. And then... Me and my partner both get the next one. Ooh, these are cards you should take out too. But a jack is worth 11, a queen is worth 12, and a king is worth 13. They just keep going up from the 10. So jack is worth 11. So 11, is that more than two? Yes, so then this person gets the cards this time. Okay, so then you flip them over again. So you have five and seven. Seven is more, so this person gets both cards. Oh, remember I said jack is 11, queen is 12. 12 is more than four. 
It's a fun game to play, and you're comparing numbers. Oh, there's a 13. 3 and 13. So this person gets them this time. Ooh, that one's close, isn't it? 9 is more than 8. If you end up with a tie, so here's a 10 and a jack. Jack is 11. So the jack wins on that. If you end up with a tie, you have to go again to break it. An ace is all the way at the bottom of the deck. It's a one. So five is more than one. It's greater than one. There's our last one. It's a queen. So if I were to get two, and so the queen is more. If you get two that are the same, you put your next cards down. And then the winner of that hand gets all four. But we're not quite done because these people can turn them back over. And you can keep going until one person has all the cards. If you don't have cards at your house, you can always find just a, I just cut up just an index card. And you can use a pen and make your own cards. So you could write a five on this card and you could even draw five dots to help you remember that it's a five card. So you could make your own cards and mix them up and do your numbers one to 10. You could do your numbers one to 20 and challenge yourself. Try to find some cards at your house or some paper and make your own cards and do a comparing game. That game can be called War or Top It. Have fun playing. Have a fantastic Friday. Bye.